Okay, um, hello, my name is Dr. Payne, which sounds awesome, if we're being honest, right? It's the only reason I got my PhD, okay? Anybody? No? Right. Making it through the day okay? All right. Uh, well, it's kind of weird because we're like two weeks in, right? But it's the first time we've met um, just because the way the holiday fell and everything like that. So um, thank you guys for being here. Um, Agribusiness Ventures 4319, everyone's in the right place, right? Okay, cool. Um, we should have a couple more, which will help. Um, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, to tell you a little bit about me, I like to barbecue. Um, I like to brew beer when I have time, which is not very often. Uh, I like sports. All those things go pretty well together, right? Yeah. Um, I am a championship winning barbecue cook. Me and my buddies. Okay. We only won one, but that's enough. Right? Uh, I am raising world champions because daddy wants a gold medal. And then to retire early. All right, why am I qualified to uh, instruct this course? By the way, if you've never had a professor or instructor tell you their background and why they're qualified, you should probably question who the hell they are. Most of you guys just show up to class and somebody starts talking, right? You're like, I don't know if this person knows what the hell they're talking about. Okay, so let's find out. I got my undergrad at Oregon State University. It's this whole other country, right? Way up a long ways from Texas. Okay? Um, we have the best baseball team in the country. Three national championships. Last one was in 2018. I also teach at Texas A&M, and I bring that up to them every time. Just make fun of the Aggies a little bit, okay? All right. Sam actually has a good baseball team. And often beats A&M, and it's hilarious to me, okay? Um, I got my master's at University of Florida when I was working there. I got recruited to come work at Texas A&M, um, and I got a PhD while I was there. I've been a full-time professor for just the last couple of years. Uh, I teach full-time here. I teach part-time there in the Corps of Cadets, which are the weirdos in khaki. You've seen the band at halftime, those are all the cadets. Um, they do not have to go in the military. Most people don't know that. 60% of them do not go in the military. Okay? Um, so I teach classes in there, um, and I make fun of them too. Okay? Cool. Uh, come on in. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler, all right. Hendershot? Yes, sir. Okay. I had you in an online class, right? Yes, sir. Which one? Uh, I don't know. It's been about two to three years. Doesn't even remember. Okay. That's how good I am. Right. Uh, okay. Um, so that's my degrees. Okay. Uh, so I've been teaching here, uh, teaching at AM. Before that, uh, I worked for the Extension Service. Does anybody not know what Extension is? Most people in ag at least have some clue, or if you did 4 H or whatever. Um, hopefully, you've heard of Extension. Uh, and then I was in development, which is fundraising, which is what brought me to Texas. Right. Um, although I was a military brat when I was younger, my mom is actually from Big Spring, way the hell out west. Um, and so there's fighter pilot pulled up in his Corvette next to this hot chick at the drive-in. Here I am. That's how my parents met. Um, I'm also in the Texas Air National Guard, which is the Air Force. I do that part-time. Right? Um, we do counter-drug operations. Watching you guys. This makes everybody nervous, right? Okay, so that's a little about me. Um, this class is cool. This is not a like typical lecture class. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to that. This is not come sit for an hour and 15 minutes and listen to me ramble. Who likes that? It's boring. So please participate, okay? Uh, sometimes, yeah, we'll have to review stuff. This class used to be twice a week. Right? which is almost too much, to be honest. Um, once a week works pretty well, and then I'll turn you guys loose to do stuff online, no set meeting time or anything like that, and I'll get to why we do that, all that stuff. But basically, we do a group project, and okay? that's the biggest part of your grade in the semester. Um, so please come and participate, all right? Engage, ask questions, um, be part of it. It's really boring if I just sit here and talk the whole time, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I was about to give a presentation uh, to a bunch of ag economists at Texas A&M, and one of the dudes is like, no joke, a big deal. Like, he goes to Washington, D.C., and he works on the farm bill, right? And he's written several books. He wrote our ag policy book, okay? And right before I started speaking, he leans forward and he goes, whispers, try not to suck. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that, okay? So I try not to suck, all right? Uh, class expectations, be here on Monday, okay? We got to be here. Um, 
You gotta be here. Sound good? Okay. Um, we'll also live in Blackboard. And because I teach at AM, I'm teaching nine classes this semester, which is way too many. Okay. So if I ever say anything that doesn't make sense, so AM uses eCampus instead of Blackboard. Sometimes I just intermingle the words because they're basically the same thing. If I ever say anything that doesn't make sense, please ask me. Be like, dude, what are you talking about? I have no idea. Okay. Um, I also swear in class, which usually just keeps you awake. You'd be like, did he just cuss? Right. If honestly, if that bothers you, by all means, tell me. I'm serious. If you don't like that, please let me know. I will turn it off. Okay. But I treat you guys like adults. Um, we live in Blackboard. Okay. Because we only meet on Monday, so all our work and stuff is in there. Um, and you'll start seeing that. We'll go over the syllabus kind of here in a minute. Um, be part of class. Be original. Be outspoken. Be thoughtful. Please don't have your phones out unless we're doing something with you. Okay. Question. Okay. Um, my contact info is on the syllabus. Uh, email works great. My cell phone number is on there. By all means, you can text me if you have a question about something. With that, please tell me who the hell you are. Okay, tell me who you are and what class it is. Because I give my cell phone number out to all my students. If you just send me some random question, I may get confused as to what the heck you're talking about. Okay, so just tell me who you are and whatever. If it's last minute on assignment, I, may, I probably won't bail you out. Okay, I do have a family, so evenings and weekends. Um, I'm usually tied up doing stuff with it, okay? But by all means, if it's a quick question and I can answer it, I will try to do that. Um, but email works pretty well. So, does anybody live in College Station? Usually for a fair amount, I do too. Okay. Well, if you see me at the chicken, come say hello and I'll buy you a beer. Assuming you're of age. Okay. If not, then no beer for you. Okay. Jump into the syllabus real quick. It's real boring. You can read on your own. I, this... Glad I'm, almost everyone's here. With my other classes, I had not updated location and stuff like that. And instead of people using my SAM, they used what I had on here and it was screwed up. And then the Farrington building is not even labeled anywhere if anyone's had classes there. So like students weren't showing up and it sucked. But everybody made it here, so we're good. Uh, there's no required textbook. However, this is one that's recommended. I know that you guys will never read unless you're told to, right? Um, this is actually a really good book. It's a good audio book. Um, it's only, I don't know, eight, nine hours long, something like that. Uh, one, because it's good if you have any interest in owning or running your own business, no matter what it is. This is a little tech focused, but it's good for anything. But it's also pretty funny. The dudes are pretty engaging. It's, this is not a straightforward textbook, right? These are three entrepreneurs that had tremendous successes and tremendous failures, right? Um, so it's pretty good, it's on there, highly recommend it. We'll talk a little bit about it, um, but you don't have to buy it, um, but you can. Used, it's probably like eight bucks, okay? Uh, most of this stuff's boring and you can read, okay? Uh, can I break down grading? Okay. Is that all we did? Yeah, look at that, grading, real simple. Here's how you pass class, okay? Be here, <laughs> be here, okay? Uh, 100 points is what we do in class, uh, a few exercises and participation, all that good stuff, okay? Most of your grade will come from uh, the business plan, all right? And then another 100 points is additional assignments, ones that are in Blackboard and stuff like that. They kind of co-mingle sometimes the assignments and your business plan because we'll take it in steps. If I just give it to you all at the end, then you'll just turn in a crap product at the end, okay? All last minute, right? Procrastinating. Way to tell the truth. Um, they, <laughs> this class used to do field trips, like go to a couple of local businesses. Probably won't do that because of COVID, which is a shit show, right? Um, typically, I bring in a few uh, folks that I know that are guest speakers. Uh, one of my buddies owns Whiskey Charlie's, which is a liquor store in College Station, and Conroe. He has like three or four now. Most people like that because it's about alcohol. Um, but he's also got a cool story to tell about how he got into it and all that stuff. So. Um, usually I just bring in guest speakers versus us going anywhere right now because it's kind of a pain. Sound good? Okay. Questions about grading? Okay. Uh, boring. You guys can read this stuff. Resources. Be here. This says I get to do whatever I want. Pretty awesome. Right? Nobody cares. Don't cheat. Oh, uh, and we will, okay, 
In this class, we're gonna, you guys are going to come up with a business plan, okay? And we'll actually do it in groups. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but you do have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. It's actually an assignment. It's really easy. You just sign it, take picture or whatever, submit it online. But you have to sign that because uh, we're actually going to come up with business plans. And if you want to make one, you have to you'll be protected to do that. So that if, what was your name again? Mary Grace. Mary Grace. If you come up with a business plan and you think it's awesome and we finish the class and you go try to make it, she can sue you and take all your money. Okay? It's a good plan, right? You don't even have to do anything. She's like, it was my idea. Okay, so we have to sign a non-disclosure agreement um, that just says you can't do that. It's for X amount of time. You would actually only have, I think it's one or three years to do it. After that time, if it expires, then you can copy her idea if she never did anything with it. Cool? Honestly, uh, this is the third time I've taught this now. There's been some really good ideas. Um, not all of them, to be honest. Uh, but most of them have been pretty solid. And there's one or two where I've really encouraged students to go do it. Um, and so we'll see. There's one from last semester. I think they're going to try and make it work. Okay. Questions about anything on syllabus? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Do you know how, for every hour of class you have, how many hours you're supposed to study a week? Huh? Say three. One to three. Yeah, you can do that in this class? Oh man, at least he's honest. Okay, probably not. Um, typically no, all right? Um, typically not, but you will do group work and you will be required to do that. Pretty easy with phones and everything, right? You don't have to get in person. You can meet via Zoom, whatever. Um, but some things will take you longer than others, okay? So just give me effort. Um, you already did your intro assignment. I used to have you do that on note cards. I was reading that stuff. Some of you guys have ideas like already, right? Either businesses you want to run or maybe a, a concept or two. Okay? Some of you already have ideas of what, you, about, of, of what you might want to do for your own business, and that's great. So we'll get into that. That assignment is awesome. <laughs> that's how I'm going to partner you guys up, too. Don't even remember what you wrote, do you? It's fine. That was what it was. Okay, seniors, where are my seniors? We graduating this semester? Three, four, five? You hope, they're past. Okay, good job, you're gonna go out in the real world. It sucks, don't ever leave. Stay here as long as you can. Can't wait, right? Oh, no more tests and papers, life will be awesome. No, it's horrible, you have to work all the time. Okay, here's where you guys are. You're getting close, right? You're like badass now, okay? And then you just go here. And it sucks. You don't believe me now. Three years, I'm going to call you. You're like, oh my God, I should have stayed in college longer. Told you. This is your chance. Okay, you're seniors, uh, so you should know how college works. But I bring this up in all of my classes literally because I wish somebody would have told me this when I was younger. Uh, probably more like a freshman. Um, <laughs> how many of you uh, take a test and you do well on it? Okay, and what if you took that same test two weeks later? How are you gonna do? Why? Yeah, you just memorized it, right? And then you went to Humps, had some beers, and completely forgot about it, right? My, yeah, hell yeah, right, my man. Okay, um, that unfortunately that's how undergrad works. It's a flawed system. I'm trying to fix it. Give me a little time. But undergrad is basically memorize and regurgitate. Right? Okay. Which I do not like. <laughs> okay. um, and so while you do need to learn some stuff in here, that's not really how I teach. Okay. Let's get our hands on and do it. Um, if something is only in your short term memory, you have not learned it. It has to be in your long term memory for you to have actually learned it. That's why have you ever noticed in your classes, like you're like, we did this last semester. It's because we're trying to beat it into your brain okay? get you to actually learn it. Um, if it's hard, that means you're actually learning. Uh, who likes, does anybody uh, like math? Who doesn't like math? Not bad? All right, you guys are at business. You're okay. Don't like math? Okay. It's, it, math is actually really easy to teach. Okay? You just think it's hard because you don't want to do it. But it all has, it has rules, right? We can do trigonometry because it's black and white and it has rules. It's hard math, but it's actually pretty easy to teach. Okay? Other stuff is hard, right? But if it's hard, that means your brain is trying to figure it out. Right? And we assimilate what we already know. That means you're taking the new information 
and you're trying to pair it with stuff you already know. That's how you learn, okay? Um, in this class, I don't really do quizzes. I don't really do tests, okay? I don't think that's a great way to learn. Sometimes we have to do it, right? Especially if you guys are not doing anything. <laughs> If you're not doing the work, then I'll give you a quiz. That sucks. Let's not do that. Um, when you're taking a test, if you think about what you'll be tested on, that's probably what you'll be tested on. Uh, and the heart, who's ever been studying for a test and there's a part you really struggle with? And you're like, I don't worry about this part. I'll just focus on everything else. And then you get the test and what's on it. The hard part, right? You're like, shit. Screw. Okay. That's because it was hard and you didn't want to do it. I just bring that up in all my classes. I wish somebody would tell me. Okay, who wants to own or run their own business? Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. All right. Um, here's what happens. Almost 70% of entrepreneurs start their business at home. Amazon started at home. Okay, right out of his garage. Um, he's doing okay right now. Uh, Best way to learn about um, more about an entrepreneurship, 51% of the people who have done it said start your own company. Just go try it. That's pretty risky, right? Um, fortunately, you guys don't have a lot to lose, right? unless you have like, family property or something like that. Um, you guys don't have a lot to lose. And we'll talk about how to set up a company where you set it up to where you're protected. So even if you lose all your money, they can't take your house. We'll get into that stuff. Only 4% are 18 to 29. Only 4% of entrepreneurs. This is actually from a couple years ago. I would bet that number is increasing because so many new businesses are just apps. It's literally a new app on your phone. Did you know there's an app called I Am Rich? It was $1,000. 12 people bought it. It did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. Somebody made 12 grand. Solid, right? their own dumbass fall for buying a thousand dollar app. Okay. Reason to start your own business will be your own boss, 26%. Pursue your passion, 23%. All right, yeah, so this is six years ago. And, and this, look, I hope you guys appreciate it right now, but you guys are almost done. You have no idea how important your degree is right now. If you look at the economy and you look at jobs and what's happened with COVID, having that bachelor's degree is absolutely critical. Okay, so finish your degree. Okay, you're almost there, finish your degree. It's very important. Any first generation college students in here? Yeah, use your fair amount. That is great, good for you guys, okay? That is, that's a big deal. A lot of people say bachelor's like the new high school diploma. Yes and no, not really. It's still about 25% nationally, your first generation college students. Okay? So finish your degree, that's really good. Okay? Pat yourself on the back. In 2014, of those businesses that started, 80% made it to year two, which means 20% didn't even make it two years, right? 70% made it to year three, 62% year four, only half made it five years. Only half of new businesses made it to five years, okay? Uh, then we watch Shark Tank. You know what the show is, okay? You gotta present an idea and see if they wanna buy it and all that stuff. Those people have actually all been really vetted. It's not like they just found somebody off the street and was like, you have an idea? Most of those businesses are already going and developing, right? And that takes work, we'll talk about all that stuff. It's pretty rare that you just come up with an idea and somebody gives you $10 million to go do it. All right, we'll get into that. As nice as that would be. The top 10 reasons why a new business didn't make it. No market need, what does that mean? Yeah, nobody wanted it, right? The I Am Rich app. Okay. Again, somebody made a few bucks for their pocket, but were, was everybody gonna buy it? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's not a need for it. This is super common when like um, college students think I'm gonna open a bar or a wine bar or whatever, okay? Because you wanna hang out and drink and have a good time, fine. But <laughs> there's a million bars, right? depends on a lot of things, your location and your sales and all that good stuff, okay? People, um, it can be hard. 29%, uh, they ran out of money. 23%, almost a quarter, it wasn't the right team. What does that mean? It wasn't the right people working together? Yeah, it wasn't the right team.
my staff. Right? And most entrepreneurs, the ones that are highly successful, Jeff Bezos who started Amazon, Bill Gates started Microsoft, they're like tyrants about their business. It's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? They were so passionate about making it work. If you didn't work as hard as he did, he would fire you. He would just blow up and lose his temper and stuff like that, okay? Now, they've also learned a lot of things, but it can be really hard to start a business if not everybody is like in it together and pulling their weight. Yeah. Uh, Outcompeted, what does that mean? Yeah, okay. Somebody else, similar idea, similar concept, and they beat you to it, okay? It's not always about being first. You do not have to have the first Amazon. You don't have to have the first Tesla, okay? We'll talk about that um, throughout the class. There's plenty of examples of people who were first with a great idea, and the number two or three company that copied it is the one that succeeded, okay? Uh, Facebook. Prime example, right? And I know that's like old, it's for old people now, even though you look me up on there, huh? Okay, but MySpace went away, but do you know how much did Tom Anderson sold MySpace for? Do we know? $580 million. He doesn't work anymore. Okay, so the failed project made him half a billion. Not bad, right? Is anybody good with that? I'm gonna take the 580, I'll be good. Okay, all right. Um, pricing cost issues, sometimes it's too expensive. Um, sometimes, honestly, it's inexpensive. Um, I actually worked at a startup company and we were bringing in franchisees to buy into the company. You needed half a million. And we had several entrepreneurs that told us it wasn't enough. They were like, it's too small. It's crazy. We'll talk about it. Um, the, the product is not user friendly. Okay, so you might come up with an app that you think is awesome. But if it's hard to use, people are done. Right. Uh, you don't have a business model. Again, this is what why we're going to do a business plan in this class. Because even if you have a billion dollar idea that you're sitting on, if you don't have it laid out how it's going to go, that's a reason you won't make it. All right. Um, poor marketing. A lot of people do not consider how to advertise their company or how to market it. They think, I'll just put it on Facebook and everybody will find it. Well, how much shit is on Facebook or Twitter, right? Tons, tons and tons. Um, so it gets, it gets hard cutting through there. Uh, sometimes they ignore the customers, and sometimes the product is just mistimed. In that book, the, one of the dudes, because there's three of them, I think, he basically came up with the idea of podcasts, but it was too early. He was sitting on the billion-dollar idea, tried to make it work, the bandwidth couldn't keep up. It just wasn't as common enough. Uh, smartphones were not nearly uh, where they are today, right? So it was just, he wasn't quite there yet. He was trying to do it online versus on phones. Um, and it didn't work, right? But he had a great idea. So sometimes it's just the wrong time. Yeah. Questions? All right, who's got a business concept already? You don't have to tell me what it is. Yeah? Anyone else? Yeah, okay, cool. New or like family or what? What are we thinking? About it for years. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, I think for some of you, again, this can just be running the family business, okay? Um, what do you guys expect from this class? I'd like to learn a little bit more about problem solving, finding issues and be able to kind of... Okay, good. Kind of some problems, okay, related to business? Yes. Okay, cool, good. What else? How to grow it, how to grow the business. How to grow business, okay, good, cool. What else? Maybe just like start up, grow start up, create a business, and then maybe kind of invest in other businesses. Okay, cool, yeah, we'll get into the money side for sure. Um, I have a Sam graduate, she had a bachelor's and master's, who works for, um, Prosperity Bank and they do lending. I've had her come in before and talk about um, how to find money. Uh, we'll get in. What else? You just took it because your advisor told you to. It's fine. I'm just asking. What else? No. 
nothing. By the way, when I ask questions, if I don't get answers, I'll just wait. I'll just wait you out. We've got plenty of time, huh? Okay, cool. Okay, general startup, yeah. So maybe taking what you got and then figuring out how to do another one. All right, cool. Anything else? Okay. Uh, again, be here. Um, we will go through a business plan. We'll take it in chunks. Um, I will assign you guys in groups. I want to. Do you guys know when your ad drop deadline is? Is it today? The last day to add or drop classes. <laughs> Nobody. Your seniors, you're good. Okay. Um, I think we're only missing one. Uh, the reason I wait is just because I hate to make groups and then somebody drops a class or whatever, or adds a class or whatever, and we get screwed up. So um, hopefully, actually, it must have already happened because we started on the 13th, right? Um, so what you'll notice is we eased into the semester pretty softly, right? Okay. There's nothing due this week. Um, your first project will be due next Friday. And then from there on, you basically have something due every week on Friday, okay, by the end of the day. The reason I make it do Friday is because you guys tend to do better. If I have it Sunday or Monday, for whatever reason, you guys don't turn it in nearly as often. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but that's just what I found. So typically your assignments are due Friday. You can see that in the calendar and online and stuff. Um, so the next class, I will assign your guys groups. Sound good? I'm gonna figure out how many based on how many students we have and stuff, but we'll probably do three, maybe four groups. Okay, sound good? Um, Oh, the one thing I'd really like to do, okay, a um, couple things. If, if you know of any businesses or entrepreneurs or anything like that, um, please engage them. Ask them questions. Get to know them. Reach out. If you know someone that's got an awesome story that you think maybe they would share with the class, let me know. Okay, we'll see about bringing them in. Again, I've got a few folks um, from different backgrounds, different things that they've done. Uh, to talk about but um, please engage some folks if you know them or, or family members or whatever okay if that's the case the one thing I'd really honestly like to do and I haven't been able to pull this off because um, COVID screwed everything up um, I am trying to get seed money so that the best project of what would get judged as the best business plan and project I would actually give you guys the money it wouldn't be a lot I mean I'd be happy with like 500 bucks and there's no obligation. This is, the university is like, well, you wanna do what? Okay, I'm trying to just give you guys money. If you guys wanna to go to Humps and drink a bunch of beers and say that you won, then I don't care. Um, which is kinda of why the university is like, I don't know if we can just give them money. I'm like, sure we can. Because I'm trying to get it from donors. Um, and the reason is I have a friend who teaches at Texas A&M who does this and he's been doing it for like 30 years, right? So he has a ton of, of alumni and stuff built in. And they have a huge one. It's a really hard class. I mean, he absolutely grinds them out. But at the end, he gives uh, three of them prizes. The first prize, I think, is like 20 grand. Second prize is like 10. Third place is five to actually try and start their business, right? Um, he's been at it way longer than me, right? But if I can pull that off this semester, by all means, I will try, right? I'm hoping um, that we're kind of moving in the right direction with the timing and people who are making money are obviously still doing okay. So if I can work um, with the folks here to give us a few bucks, I will try to do that. No guarantees or promises whatsoever, right? But I will try and get a little seat. Sound good? Cool. Okay. I think that's all we have. Yeah. Okay. Questions for me? Questions for the class? Or anything? We won't always go the whole time, but usually we'll, we'll, I'll use like an hour, right? So don't always expect to be done this <laughs> early. Cool. I know you're super sad, right? Stay here another 45 minutes. Okay. Uh, questions for me? Everyone's good? All right. Awesome. I will see you next Monday.